everyone. Welcome to Tea with Shira at Home. Today we are talking about Hat Not Hate. And you might say, what is Hat Not Hate? Hat Not Hate is an anti-bullying campaign where I ask knitters and crocheters to make blue hats. Why blue? Because blue is the anti-bullying color and they send them in to me and then I distribute them throughout the month of October, which is National Bullying Prevention Month. We're also talking to our good friend Mindy Horowitz, who was a very good friend of John Giswold. John Giswold was a very good friend and beautiful blue pillar of the Hat Not Hate community and fiber community and was actually supposed to be on this episode. However, because we lost him back in August, we have our representative of Knit in the Pit, Mindy Horowitz, joining us today. And hopefully today you're inspired and uh, you want to help me make a difference. Mindy, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for inviting me. It's a pleasure. Um, so Mindy and I have become fast friends very quickly, and we are so honored and appreciative to have you here today to kind of talk about Hat Not Hate, to talk about John, and to also talk about Knit in the Pit, something that John was so passionate about, along with Hat, Hat Not Hate. So first off, how are you, Mindy? Good, good. We're getting there. Everything is kind of slowing down and calming down and we're regrouping and, you know, still looking for ways to honor John every which way possible. People are actually reaching out to us in Asbury Park. They want us to do um, a yarn bombing up on the boardwalk for him. You know, John was such a friend of the She Show and such a friend of mine to a point that actually so Had Not Hate partnered with Faber-Castell and uh, Faber-Castell Creativity for Kids and this quick knit loom is so awesome. It makes two hats. So the concept is, is that they can make one and then give one away to Hat Not Hate as we are still going for that goal of 100,000. But the reason why I bring this up is, and it, you know, when everything was happening with the loss of John, I think that this was one of the things, and I was keeping it under my hat, no pun intended, um, that on the back of the box, it was a group shot from our, our Hat Not Hate photo shoot last year, which was so awesome. It was the energy for that photo shoot, Mindy, was, it was one of the coolest days. So there were so many beautiful things about that day. And to quote one of my friends, she, she had seen the, um, the box on Amazon and she said, I'm so happy that John lives there. And I was like, you know, that's so true because he was so passionate about Hat Not Hate. There's a common thread in all of our stories. And when people are touched and moved, when they can create something by hand to put onto someone's, a stranger's head, uh, the impact is, is an immeasurable. Knit in the Pit is um, a gathering the second Friday night of every month that occurs at the Asbury Hotel in Asbury Park. But to the left is a sunken living room. The couches are down in and sunken. Everyone was sitting there knitting and therefore Knit in the Pit. John had started Knit in the Pit. He advertised in some local Asbury Park newspaper. Susan Frick, who was the one and only original girl who showed up, had seen it. There's another store, store Frame and Fiber, Paige the Framer, who not only had a knit night at her store, but on Thursday nights, she would do a virtual Zoom knit. And so there was all these people from all over the place. So I was on that, Sue Frick was on that, and Paige said, okay gals, it's Thursday, what's everyone doing for the weekend? As Susan Frick said, well, it's the second Friday and I'm going to the Asbury Hotel to get in the pit. And I'm like, to do what? <laughs> John must have been walking around or something because he wasn't there initially. And then he just like busts in. Hi, so glad you could join us. And you know, you know how John was. And immediately like you were in. You were in. You know, he introduced everybody and made sure everyone was comfortable and then started, you know, what are you working on? And so we were all showing. He happened to be working on 
a blue hat and immediately, you know, told us everything behind it. And we were like, well, we can knit a blue hat. You know, well, next time you come, that would be really nice. Each time, like 80 hats would show up, 90 hats would show up. It just got bigger and bigger and and bigger. And it, it has not stopped. And we all understood it and have embraced what Hat Not Hate is. Knowing that there's someone out there that can understand or have compassion for what you're going through, no matter what level that you're going through, it's, it's almost the antidote. Uh, I think that bullying happens online. So they're being bullied by people they don't know. So this is a way of showing that the world that they don't know also cares for them as well. So it's an equal balance. I think one of the coolest things about John was when he believed in something, he believed in something and he was passionate about it. I think that that's what drew me to John was how passionate he was. You know, I, I say like he really gave with his whole heart mm -hmm. and he made you feel, and I'm looking at like people out there, he made you feel like you're the only girl in the room. At least he made me feel that way. Yes. <laughs> All these moments with John and especially in the past six months when he's come on the She Show and he's been our, you know, movement specialist and, and hat not hate cheerleader and, and just such a, such an amazing soul. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I think about this box. I think that he would have been over the moon and back again and yeah. so excited about this and what it means. And I am a big believer in that things do happen for a reason, yeah. even though those reasons may be hard to understand in those moments. I do believe they happen for a reason. And meeting you and talking with you, very similar spirits. And um, I just know that John would have been over the moon. How do you think, and this is a very big question for you because I don't know if you have the answer to it, but how will Knit in the Pit carry out John's legacy? We have talked about it. We have a committee that um, is forming and Hat Not Hate, of course, is up front. We, uh, we also know that It Gets Better was important to him. We will continue to make hats and uh, continue that goal for him to stamp out bullying forever. And we, Knit in the Pit does have some merchandise that fortunately we have the artwork for. All the proceeds from that 100% will go to charities that meant something to John. We don't know what else they need. We hope that these donations in John's name will continue the legacy of what he believed in. And so those are our goals besides, you know, just keeping the community in community uh, going in Asbury Park. Because a lot of us, a lot of us did not know each other. And now we're friends. You want to go have coffee this afternoon? Do you want to go hit a yarn shop we've never been to. I mean, it's really incredible that either a hook or two knitting needles literally have stitched us all in some way together. Mindy, thank you so much for joining You're me. You're welcome. This year today. And I hope that everyone is inspired to wear and make their blue hats throughout the month of October, which is National Bullying Prevention Month. Use that hashtag, hat not hate. And what we would like to know from you in the comments is number one, what does hat not hate mean to you? But also if you did know John, how did John leave that print on you that he's left on so many? Thank you everyone to joining us today. And as always, remember to give this, big, this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. You know, I just want, I want to thank you for giving me an opportunity, letting people be heartfelt. And I love you. Oh, I'm, thank you very much.